Here I am in my library, actually my mom's library. Welcome to my mom's house. Yes, yeah, you can see I'm not at home, but I needed to make some content for you. Everyone is talking about Rihanna's baby. Oh, Nana, Rihanna is pregnant. Photographed in New York, showing off her baby bump. It was hard to get up out of bed knowing that Rihanna is having a baby. I could honestly cry. I want to ask you, how does this even connect with her art? Really? Still creating a little bit of space in the corner, in the corner of the island. So that's where your light lives. You need that. Hi, I'm Sira. I was born in an artistic family and as an agent, manager and producer, I've worked for many years selling artists from all around the world. Today, I want to help you to become a full-time artist. I know, Rihanna is an icon. Everyone knows that. What she does goes straight to the cover of the magazine. And people talk about it like no stop. But how those things can make her a better artist? Actually, it's all connected to her brand. Brand will be how people will label you. Imagine that you are starting a new job, for example. You don't know anyone. You just get there the first day, you look around, and by the end of the day, you will remember some faces in your memory. On the next day on the office, you will maybe remember this or that person. However, you didn't have time enough to know more about those people. So what you do, how you remember them, you will start to give them superficial labels. You know, like the guy who's always having coffee or the girl who is too focused answering her phone. Mid-morning dance party. She's dancing even better than normal. The boss. I think that pretty much sums it up. The guy who wants to, everyone to like him. Well, we do that all the time. We create labels. It makes easier for us to connect a face to an idea, to a concept, so we can remember these people. We do that almost instantaneously. The more we know about someone, the more complex we start to get the idea in our minds. Coming back to our example, do you think you will remember the face of everyone and the next time? If you have a photograph memory, well, maybe yes, but most of us will never remember everyone. People leave a mark, others not so much. The artistic market is a very competitive place where we have tons of singers, millions of painters, tons of actors, and so on. That's why it's essential for an artist to leave a mark and be recognized or they will just, well, vanish. In the example I have to you, it's possible that you see that in general, you remember one thing about each one of the people that you meet and the other day. In the same way, your audience will, at least in the beginning, remember just one thing about you. This will define how people will remember you. That's your brand. You can build brands or you can leave them to be created by other people because we create this all the time. The advantage of defining who you are is choose how you want to see people looking to you. I would like to be recognized by good things, for example, and not bad ones. And if I take chances, well, maybe my first impression is not great and it's associated with things that I don't like much. Did you miss your body? Just my face and my chest. I couldn't fit back there. Oh, this whole plan's not working at all. What was your plan? To look cool in front of your parents. <laughs> look at what love made me do, babe. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Charles. Mrs. Charles, I hope my hiding thing wasn't too stupid. How this is connected with Rihanna Bailey? Well, over the years, Rihanna worked a lot on her brand. What she says... What are you looking for in a man now to wear this clothes? I'm not looking for a man. A 
start there. How she dresses, where she goes, with whom she hangs out. All of those things make us create an image in our minds of who Kiana is. The more intense this image is, the easiest is for people to connect with this image. Some will hate, but others will love. Rihanna doesn't need to be loved by everyone, but just by those who can buy from her. The ones who will fill out the concerts, the ones who will listen to her songs, the ones who will buy the magazine because she's on the cover. This strong brand creates deep connection between her and her audience. And at some point, it doesn't matter if she is talking about a new album, a new song, or a new pregnancy. We just buy it. Because there are people interested in buying this type of information. Rihanna created a huge career based on her music, but also based on her brand. Magazines pay her to go to interviews. Hi. Hi. I am going to do my makeup for you guys. All of you Vogue readers and you Vogue bloggers and you Vogue fans, we're gonna have some fun today, so. Companies pay her to sell their products. Tell me about what you're wearing right now. I'm wearing a pair of Louboutins. Oh, it matches the pink carpet. And Vivian Westwood and Riri, of course, you can smell it. Festivals pay her to have her in the concert because all of those things will sell if she's there. Her income comes from multiple different streams, what goes way beyond her songs. Yeah, well, the show is a mixture of fashion, dance, art, beauty, and um, this year we're actually going to make the show based around our space. In this line, it's about being unapologetically you and embracing individuality. So how do you continue to be fearless every day and be your true self? You be fearless every day and when you don't feel like it, just pretend, girl. That's it. <laughs> really and truly, don't let them see you sweat. Mm -hmm. And what you've done with Fenty is incredible. You've built an incredible empire. You're a billionaire, a young billionaire at that. I'm just saying, you know, so. <laughs> don't come to my house asking me for $20. <laughs> but how does it feel? You know, like, and you, you did it in such a short amount of time. You know, it was real weird getting congratulations, uh, texts from, people for money you know I was just like wait how, how does I never got congratulated for money before like that shit is crazy but it, it made sense when I realized that it, it was inspiring to people that they felt like this is something that they could achieve yes. knowing where I've come from knowing my humble beginnings they see uh, the possibility and it gives them hope if you're an artist who is starting right now, that's what you should learn with this whole story. It's not your art that will support you financially for a long period. It's your brand. Building a brand is a proactive exercise that needs to come from you all the time. You need to decide the one thing that you want to be remembered for and act accordingly consistently. You can choose to be the fun guy, or the sexy girl, or the exotic painter, the profound actor who defends the environment in China, or whatever other thing that you decide. But you need to be something, or you will just vanish on among millions of other artists who are trying to stand for something. Who you want to be? Me, I want to be Rihanna's baby. I'm so excited to be here! I need to tell you that I have a full masterclass for free. How can you take the leap and become the artist that you want to become? It's not a sales pitch. In this masterclass, I will help you with a real training that will give you the step by step. So if you want to check this, go here in this website and you watch a two hour class totally for free so you can start to be a full-time artist right now. Thank you so much for keeping making art.